Hello, Charles. I have chosen this wonderful scenery of my Provence to speak to you of my friendship and admiration. The scenery that Edmond de Goncourt evoked, saying, the sea is the most beautiful horizon in the world. These seas and these oceans, Charles, you paint their forms and fish so poetically, bringing to mind the poet, Arthur Rimbaud, whom you quote at length in your latest book, and his individually colored vowels, A black, E white, I red, U green, O blue, vowels. This brings us back to our childhood, Charles. In the preface to your latest book, recounting your life as a man and an artist, I wrote, Charles Carson has left his mark for artistic posterity because today one refers to a Carson as one would say, it's a Picasso, it's a Basquiat, it's a Matisse, it's a Warhol, and all the other immortal great masters. Today, I just added the weight of Arthur Rimbaud. As for me, no matter how busy I am, whenever you call me, my dear friend, no matter the time difference, for you, it's daytime, whereas for me, it's nighttime because I work until 3 a.m. It's always a pleasure to discuss art with you, especially considering my activities in the art world, my role as an expert at customs courts and as president of Drouot, Cotation des artistes modernes et contemporains, and my involvement in the 10th edition of the Dictionnaire de Cotation des artistes, the art reference and price guide, which La Rousse has been publishing for 10 years and in which you are always represented among the artists. I regret that there are not enough Canadian artists. We have many French-speaking European artists, but we have very few Canadian artists. I am counting on you to create a balance, dear Charles. It is for this reason that I have the pleasure of announcing to you that you have been named artistic advisor to the Drouot Cotation des Artistes Modernes et Contemporains for Canada. Long life to you. Bravo, Charles. Vive le carsonisme.